So let's talk about UI, making clear, simple, powerful, custom user interfaces that just really light up those workflows you're trying to support. So in this Extend Omniverse contest, we have three categories, scene authoring tools, scene modifier tools, and custom UIs. So in this video, let's dive deep on these custom UI samples that we've got for you and give you a feel for the kinds of things you might want to build. To do that, we're going to get started in code. So from my Omniverse launcher, I'll just launch code. And here we are. This is the tool you're going to be using to build uh, all the different kinds of extensions that you might want to build. And let's go into the UI. First of all, if you look around Omniverse, it's got you know, tabs and drop downs and, and, and galleries and all sorts of user interface. Well, what's kind of interesting is all of this UI is built on the same kit platform that you're using to build extensions. In fact, these are all extensions. <laughs> so you can just go for it and, and take a look at how these are built. And if you like a particular, maybe you like the coloring of this all and the, the, the little bar for the selection, or you like the gallery, you can <clears throat> take that and use it in your own experiences as well. So to, to look at these examples that we have for you, let's open up the extension manager. So if I go to window and I go all the way down to the bottom, here's extensions. And this is where you can open up your extension manager. And you can see um, the variety of extensions that are, are in here for you. Now to add more extensions, which is what you're going to want to do, you click this little gear, you open it up, and then you follow the instructions in GitHub, and you can just paste a link to uh, the, the repo, or you can download the repo and then paste a link to your local, um, your local file system as you have here. So I've done that. Let's go find these extensions. The first one I want to show you is just the very basic window UI. Here we go. So Omni UI window, if I click on it, I can see you know what it's about, do the readme, and then I can enable it. So here it is, it's popped up on top of my screen. Let's move this back to viewport so you can see it better, there we go. And this window has all the basic elements you might expect, it has you know title, you can move it around, um, it's a floater. If I want to, I can dock it into these different spaces that I've got. Uh, great. And then it's got sections. So, you know, a slider value field, a couple different sections, a different look of that field. You can figure out how to do labels. You can figure out how to do the alignment. You can make these expand and collapse sections, right? Um, here's a, here's a color picker. You can try to include check boxes, just all the basic, uh, UI components that you might want to have to add all the little, um, knobs and dials and widgets and fiddly bits that you might want to add. So one question is, cool, I see that. How do I take a look at it and, and understand the code? So let's go back to extensions. And we'll just move this guy out of the way for a minute. And see this little button here, open in Visual Studio Code. So I'm, I'm, I'm on the, um, I clicked on the extension. That shows me the details of it. And then here's this visual, visual Studio Code button. I click that and up comes Visual Studio and it opens it to that extension for me. So here's the extension examples, uh, UI window, and I can see this, this particular file is the styles for that. Um, here's the extension PY, this is the one that will uh, is like the starting point for your extension all up. And you can dig in, you can look at <clears throat> all the different pieces and see how it's built out. Great. <clears throat> well, let's look at some other examples here. Let's turn off this one. And then another one that I want to show you is this one. Omni, uh, the Julia Quaternion modeler. So once again, it's just a more expanded version of the simpler window that you saw, but now it's got things like bounds. You can max and mins, right? I can only go to two, zero to two on this one, but negative two to two on that one. Um, 
it's got other other kinds of UIs where where changing an object in one, changing a, a value in one field affects another. Uh, it's got these reset buttons, so you can test out those, see how they they change color when I make a change, and I can always reset it back to the default. So there's a notion of defaults. Um, and then it's also got these expanding and collapsing fields looking in a similar way. So, and it's got, oh, like what it might look like to have a file path and so forth. So just a few more different pieces, a slightly different layout, gives you another feel for how to look at extensions. And as before, you can look at the code. So let's look at another one now. Turn that one off. Oh, here's one, the gradient window. So this one just has a little more embellishments, right? You've got, you can see I can put color backgrounds behind things. You have um, these sliders with gradients on them. You've got uh, the ability to watch these other parts change. Uh, you have a different expand collapse feel. So before they were up and down arrows, now we've got like a side arrow when it's closed and then a expand arrow when it's like a, like a down arrow when it's expanded, right? So you can do a few different things like that, get a different feel for it. Um, it's also got uh, default buttons it, and so forth. So oh, the, the, the thing that's kind of interesting is it's got the little line around here that sort of groups sections together. So you can see how you can format that. All these little details come together to help you build um, really wonderful UIs for the kinds of experiences you might want to build. And again, you can look at all the code for this and see how you use these different sections. So I think that some of the best contest submissions, and in fact, some of the best experiences that are built on Omniverse are gonna have fantastic UIs, right? You can have a really interesting um, algorithm or a really interesting way to lay things out in the screen, um, but without the right affordances for customers, uh, it won't like reach its full potential. So this is a great, uh, segment of the contest. It's, I think we're really going to see some cool stuff shine. How do you keep these really, really simplistic yet powerful and give the creators in the world that are using your tools um, the most power possible? So you can think about building end-to-end -end solutions where you think through all of the different aspects in a given workflow and make sure that your UI really just nails that end-to-end -end workflow. Or you could think about making the best subcomponent, make a really amazing subcomponent that other people could use inside of their experiences and, and make something really kind of great out of that. So I'm really looking forward to the submissions in this, in this category. I, I cannot wait to see what you build. Uh, this is really great. I will be out there with you as we go through this, this experience. So let's, uh, let's get something made. I can't wait to see it.